Google has finally begun to roll out Privacy Sandbox to its users on Chrome for Android. I read about others seeing this new change a week or two ago, but I didn't see it on my daily driver until yesterday. This is what the onboarding page looks like when you receive the change for your device and it will go into effect immediately after you see this splash screen. Privacy Sandbox is a new way for Google to serve personalized ads to people without the need for third-party cookies. Moving away from these types of web cookies is something that many browsers have been doing lately, and it has had an impact on the revenue Google is able to bring in from advertising. So instead of having a website like Facebook or Google follow you across the web, collecting data on things that you search and for what you're browsing, Privacy Sandbox keeps your personal data private while still allowing personalized ads to be displayed. We can find this new section within Chrome by first tapping on the three dot menu icon at the top right. And then from here, we're going to select settings. Now we're going to look within the basics section and then tap on the privacy and security menu. Then from here, you're going to want to go into the Add Privacy area. There are currently three sections to Google's Privacy Sandbox implementation, and that begins with Add Topics. This is an API that allows browsers to share information with third parties about a user's interest. Google will use your browsing history to determine which topic categories you might be interested in. After Chrome collects enough data, you will begin to see ad topics populated within this menu. And it's from here that you can actually block a specific topic too. So if you don't want to see ads about automobiles or fitness, then you can go to the Add Topics menu to block them. The second part of this new feature is for site-suggested ads. This is similar to the previous feature, but it's actually based on the specific websites you're visiting. So, for example, if you visit a website that only sells running shoes, then you may be assigned a topic that relates to running, such as marathons. This would allow a personalized ad to be displayed on a completely different website that relates to this topic. And the final part of Google's new Sandbox privacy feature is for measuring the effectiveness of an advertisement. This allows for limited types of data to be shared between websites that can measure the performance of an ad that was displayed for you. Google doesn't go into much detail about how this works, nor do they say exactly how they are measuring the performance. But they do tell us that the data is deleted regularly and that there is a delay on the reports that are sent out in an attempt to protect your identity. You will need to manually delete your browsing history if you want to suddenly stop these reports from being generated, or you can disable this feature entirely with the toggle at the top of this page. And we can actually disable all three of these aspects of the Privacy Sandbox from within the Settings menu of Chrome. If we look at the top of each of these three pages, then you will see a toggle that allows you to turn them off. 
So if you want to limit the amount of data being presented to advertisers, then disable all three of these features. But if you're going to be seeing ads while browsing the internet, many people prefer them to be personalized ads so that they can actually be useful. And Google's Privacy Sandbox seems to be a much better solution than allowing third-party cookies to follow you from website to website. 